What's up guys? This is a business reading for a Taurus with a business or a business idea. This could also be career related. But I'm going to start focusing on business readings because I want to help people manifest, you know, their businesses, their ideas, and give spiritual advice on how to turn their business, you know, to a prosperous business or give advice on to as to whether or not, you know, this is a good idea or whether or not this is businesses for you or if it's time to make a change in your life and focus on your business or your business idea. This is a general reading for the sign Taurus in the area of business. I'm going to pull a card, show you a short video about my service that I provide to businesses or to people manifesting in business and who would like spiritual advice along the way. This is for a sign of Taurus, but it's general. If you want one specific to your situation, feel free to order a business reading, a personal reading for your business. It's the same, wow, you see how all that is dropped in all that? Interesting, breakthrough. There's a breakthrough for whoever this resonates with. You have a breakthrough coming near Taurus in business. Look at that fortune. Oh yeah, an offer. All right, so while I look, take a look at these cards and I um, determine what message it is for you and your business, Taurus, um, take a look at this quick video and I'll be right back. I've manifested over $200,000 so far, but the most important thing that I've manifested is my connection with spirit. I have the ability to communicate with spirit guides. They give me strategy. They help me to attune to hurdles along the way, and they keep me on a straight path towards the manifestation of my goals and making sure that I, when I do something wrong, they let me know to keep me in the process of manifesting the desires of my heart. And I want to use my power, my connection with spirit to help you manifest your goals as well. If you want to manifest a new job, if you want to manifest a new car if you want to manifest more money if you want to manifest more life a divine partner a baby whatever it is that you are yearning for allow me to assist you and allow my spirit guides to assist you in your manifestation process by providing you with bi-weekly guidance and strategy towards the manifestation of your goals i'm looking for 33 people to help and if you feel like you're one of those 33 people hit the link below thank you good luck and peace Okay, I'm back. So I just did your reading. I just read your cards. And this is looking like a good situation for your business, Taurus. Quick note before I continue. It starts with 444. You're reading out 444, meaning there is a need for hard work, persistence, wisdom, progress, responsibility, and to mm, create a solid foundation for your business and a solid foundation for your life. Um, and then we also have the overall energy of the reading. From the bottom of the deck, I saw the Ace of Swords, I saw the Ten of Pentacles, I saw the Ace of Cups. This is just a breakthrough is near that is gonna open many doors for you for prosperity for your business. Financial prosperity, a solid foundation and open many doors for you. It starts off with the Four of Cups. Can you see this? this is, I haven't done a reading like this all the way on my couch before. But it starts out with the Four of Cups. And this is just saying that offers are coming in, but you're denying those offers. Or you may need to deny those offers because it's time for you to build. A build, you know, accumulate wealth for yourself and your business. It's time for you to build a solid foundation again for your business. So offers are coming in, but maybe you're not taking them. But it's time for you to take a leap of faith. With the Fool card, Right after the Seven of Pentacles is saying, yeah, it's time for you to build and build a solid foundation for your business, but it may require you to take a leap of faith. And with the Eight of Cups right behind it, you may need to leave something behind. There is something um, in your life that's impeding progress for your business. With 444 meaning the energy of your reading, which is persistence again, hard work, determination, solid foundation, uh, something is preventing a solid foundation for you. Something is getting in the way of you in a solid foundation for your business. And it's time for you to walk over, walk away from whatever that is. And doing these steps, taking a leap of faith, walking away from things that do not support 
your vision and your business does not support growth in your business, does not support hard work in your business, does not support building a solid foundation for your business, saying no to things that no longer serve you, saying no to things that does not help you build a solid foundation for your business is the key to success. Because right after this is the breakthrough. Right after you take that leap of faith, right after you say no to these offers that don't serve your purpose, is success. And a fortunate change of events with the Wheel of Fortune being the next card. It may require you also to um, complete a project. Again, 444 meaning hard work and persistence and determination. So once you complete these steps and you continuously work hard towards your business, you complete this project or you complete this phase in your life and your business, again, the Wheel of Fortune is right here. The Wheel of Fortune is there's a fortunate change of events that leads you to completion of a project but also leads to many many open doors for you so we have the page of cups here i really didn't need to clarify the page of cups but i did only because i wanted to because i'm like okay what is this page of cups being at the end of the reading is this inspiration like what is this but it represents many doors being open for you. Why? Because you built the solid foundation for your business. Because you were persistent. You worked hard. You were determined. You continuously built. built. You walked away from things that didn't serve you. Offers were coming in. You said no. You said no to the ones that does not serve building a solid foundation for your business. And that sacrifice that you put into your business creates a fortunate change of events. Completion of a project, completion of a phase, completion of a cycle of, with, of your business that changes. Maybe it's um, product life cycle, product or service life cycle, you know. You go through phases and then it goes up the wave and it goes down. Perhaps this is what brings your business onto the upward slope of the product or service life cycle. But it opens many doors for you. With this page of pentacles, we got the three of pentacles, the three of cups, and the queen of pentacles. Three is the number for synergetic results. It's the number for divine assistance. It's the number for collaboration and partnership. So saying, doing these steps and saying no to the things that doesn't serve you opens the door for the things that do. So by the end of this reading or and this energy, if you put in the work to create a solid foundation for your business, it'll be a fortunate change of events and many doors will be open for you. This is partnerships. This is collaborations. This is Things that bring wealth, things that bring stability, things that bring energy, things that bring financial abundance into your life, into your business. Creating a solid foundation, creating a completion of a phase, completion of a project, and the breakthrough that you all ever so need for your business. Yep. And then with the Oracle cards, it just adds to the energy. It says a challenge is now coming to an end. But it's time to step up. That reiterates your need to put in the hard work and determination in order to build a solid foundation for your business. And then you have um, New Moon in Aquarius. And that just means it's a time to move forward. So, whatever this leap of faith is, and it could be different for different people. And if you would like a personalized reading for your business, you click the link in my description. But, whatever this leap of faith is, it's time for you to do it. It's time for you to walk away from those things that does not serve creating a solid foundation for your business that does not serve creating a solid foundation for your life and your business hard work and determination and growth if it doesn't support your business it's time to say no to it take a leap of faith put the work in it it may require for you to be independent for a while but put the work in put the work in required to build your business and do you have a fortunate set of events this is a great reading for you this is a perfect this is awesome reading for your business um, if it resonates, cool. If it doesn't resonate and you would like a private reading, click the link below and send me a message and let me know that it's for your business and the name of your business and I'll be glad to help you. I wish you love, I wish you light, and much success in your business endeavors. Peace.